Fun you were here back with another video. This devlog will be about what has happened recently with the realistic first person strategy game I'm currently developing. Since I have a lot to cover, let's get into it. So, what has even happened? Well, a lot actually. I have started work on a side project to, just to experiment with different aspects of first person shooters. This little side project has also taught me about code architecture, so you know what that means a rewrite of the code base for Sierra Sandstorm. The problem I was running into with Sierra Sandstorm was the project was just too big for someone of my skill level. The code was often messy and relies way too much on other objects existing. This is a massive problem, especially when it comes to making levels. So I have decided to use my new code skills to rewrite the code base. I have not gotten done rewriting the whole thing yet, but the code I do have is much cleaner. You can actually check out the GitHub link in the description to see the new code. The new code uses something like an API, where instead of all the game logic interfacing directly with the engine, I have my own layer that the code base references. That means I can call these functions from anywhere without having to rewrite the entire bloody thing every time I make something different. I do not like calling it a library, if anything it is more of a framework. The API is just easier to explain in a video. If we recall to one of my previous devlogs, you can see me complaining about turret AI. Cue the clip. Either it's simple, but it doesn't aim smoothly at all, or it's complex, but it does aim smoothly. So yes, I kept running into problems trying to create turrets in Godot. Well, if you've seen my video about smooth enemy rotation, you do not really hear me complaining about it that much, so I will try to use what I have talked about in that video to try to create turret AI in Godot. I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. The TLDR version of the video is instead of rotating each turret component to look at the player, we have a position 3D node that linearly interpolates, which is a big boy word that means move over time, to the player's position. We then tell the turrets to look at that instead. That means much smoother movement than just calling it the look at function. To be honest, I have no idea why it took me so long to figure that out. Another massive change is how I'm going about creating the project. This might be the one thing that saves this project. Whenever I first started development on Sierra Sandstorm, I got basic movement in and then hopped right into Blender and started creating weapons. This means the majority of the time spent in the early stages was 3D modeling, not actually creating gameplay logic. I was in the mindset of I have to have something to show in order for gameplay logic, but that is simply the delusion of a novice game developer. The thing I just mentioned might also be the same reason why I quit development on VOAL, except that time I did not even have a Unity project before I started making weapons. You can learn more about novice game developer mistakes using the link in the description below. It is from Game Maker's Toolkit, so you might have seen it already, but if you haven't, then I recommend you do. So far, I've only been talking about changes post-rewrite, but what about changes before the rewrite? Well, things were starting to get so messy. I started working on the level 1 for the game, but the code was so messy that I did not get that far. I had pretty much no game framework at all, because I did not even know where I wanted the project to go. Well, now I do, so hopefully I do not make that mistake again of not having a framework. You can actually see what level 1 looked like if you view an older commit. At that time of writing this script, it is one commit before the rewrite. Anyways, if you've gotten this far, then you might as well leave a like on this video and check out the GitHub for Sierra Sandstorm. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, that is all from me for now, Funnuber out. By the way, I think I'm going to switch from weekly devlogs to a devlog going out every other month just so videos are longer and I have more stuff to talk about. Which is actually quite ironic because this video is like 4 minutes long. But um, anyways, it's more information, so more devlogs.